interesting facts about famous people. 10 Famous Western Actors, Last Western Movies Today we are taking a look at 10 famous actors who were known as greats in the Western genre. After a long and impressive career, we all have a last hurrah. Let's see what the last film roles in Westerns these guys made. If you enjoyed this video, take a look at my channel for many more. The link is in the description. Don't forget to share with your friends. John Wayne's Last Western, The Shootist, 1976. John Books, an aging gunfighter, goes to see a doctor he knows for a second opinion after another doctor told him he has cancer, which is terminal. The doctor, James Stewart, confirms what the other doctor said. He tells Books he has a month or two left. He takes a room in the boarding house, and the son of the woman who runs it recognises him and tells his mother who he is. She doesn't like this kind, but when he tells her of his condition, she takes pity. Her son wants him to teach him how to use a gun. Books tries to tell him that killing is not something he wants to live with. Books, not wanting to go through the agony of dying from cancer, tries to find a quicker way to go. Gary Cooper's Last Western. They came to Cadora, 1959. Starring Cooper, Rita Hayworth, Van Heflin and Tab Hunter. In 1916, as US soldiers chased Pancho Villa, Army Major Thomas Thorne, Gary Cooper, was assigned to be a battlefield observer. He was suggested for this duty by a Colonel Rogers, Robert Keith, who is 63 years old and impatiently yearning to be promoted to general before mandatory retirement a few months hence. Randolph Scott's Last Western, Ride the High Country, 1962, directed by Sam Peckingpaw, starring Scott, Joel McCree and Mariette Hartley. The supporting cast includes Edgar Buchanan, James Drury, Warren Oates and Ron Starr. In 1992, Ride the High Country was selected for preservation in the National Film Registry by the United States Library of Congress as being deemed culturally, historically or aesthetically significant. Joel McCree's Last Western, Mustang Country, 1976, directed by John C. Champion, starring McCree in his last major film, co-starring Robert Fuller, Patrick Wayne and Nika Mina. Set in 1925 along the Montana-Canada border, about a rancher and former rodeo star Dan, Joel McCree, and his Rottweiler, Luke, while trying to capture an elusive Mustang nicknamed Shoshone. Dan comes across a runaway boy from an American Indian boarding school. A friendship grows and the two set out to catch the wild stallion together. James Stewart's well, Last Western, The Shootist, 1976. A Western directed by Don and Siegel, also John Wayne's final Western role answer. before his death Advanced. in 1979. The supporting cast includes Lauren Bacall, Ron Howard and Stewart. In 1977, The Shootist received an Oscar nomination for Best Art Direction, a BAFTA Film Award nomination for Best Actress, Lauren Bacall, and a Golden Globe Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor, Ron Howard. The film received widespread critical acclaim. Lee Van Cleef's Last Western, Take a Hard Ride, 1975, starring Jim Brown, Van Cleef, Fred Williamson and Jim Kelly. The second of three films Brown, Williamson and Kelly would star in, following three the hard way and proceeding one down, two to go. Pike, a stone-faced cowboy, meets up with Tyree, a dishonest gambler. The duo attempt to transport $86,000 across hundreds of miles of western wasteland to deliver it to the widow of Pike's former employer. Lee Marvin's last western, Death Hunt. 1981, a Western action film directed by Peter Hunt, starring Charles Bronson, Marvin, Angie Dickinson, Carl Weathers, Maury Chaikin, Ed Lauter, and Andrew Stevens. A fictionalized account of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police pursuit of a man named Albert Johnson in the Yukon Territory in 1931. Albert Johnson, Charles Bronson, a solitary American trapper, comes across an organized dogfight. A white German shepherd is badly injured. Johnson forcibly takes it, paying $200 to its owner, a vicious trapper named Hazel, 
Ed Lauter. Walter Brennan's last western, Smoke in the Wind, 1975, a western directed by Andy Brennan and Joseph Kane. It marked Brennan's final film role as he died over six months before the film's release. In 1865, the American Civil War had just ended as the action in this work began, following five Union soldiers, Pa Mondier, his two sons and Smokey, as they returned to their homes in the Ozarks of northern Arkansas, planning a resurrection of their pre-war life. Many residents from the village of Winslow and its surrounding region, however, are adverse to offering a helping hand to Yankees. Slim Pickens' Last Western Christmas Mountain, 1981 The Story of a Cowboy Angel A Western film about the true meaning of the Christmas spirit Starring Mark Miller and Slim Pickens in one of his final roles A review in the New York Times said This heartwarming Christmas tale contains a Western twist As it tells the tale of a heavenly cowpoke Who rides down to earth To ride herd on a few people in need of some miracles Charles Bronson's Last Western the White Buffalo, 1977, a fantasy western film directed by J. Lee Thompson, starring Charles Bronson, Kim Novak, Jack Warden, Slim Pickens and Will Sampson. Wild Bill Hickok is haunted by his dreams of a giant white buffalo, so much that he travels to the west to find the beast. Along the way, Hickok meets the great Lakota warrior Crazy Horse, who is also searching the plains for the giant white buffalo, which killed Crazy Horse's daughter. Peacock and Crazy Horse team up to kill the elusive buffalo. Thanks for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate likes and subscribers. Don't forget to hit the notification button to get my new videos. Share with your friends. Drop me your comments. Bye for now. See you again soon. Please take time to take a look at my Facebook page for new information.